German friends here. <laughs> there, who's who's under twenty three? No, that's Max. Yeah. Oh, Max. Max is twenty two, and uh, they're all making more than a million dollars a year. And so I'm here in the south of France, and I was like, we got to go live and do a webinar and just show everybody what we're looking at and what we're doing now. Uh, how, when did you make your first million? First Nick, million. what age? Twenty. Let me. Let's. Uh, people should guess first. <laughs> you want to guess? I'll guess. Oh, okay. Twenty. First million in the bank account or million generated online? Just say million. Online. So the first million generated online was with a business partner at the beginning of two thousand nineteen. So four and years. I was eighteen years old. 18 years old. Yeah. 20. Age 20. 23. 23. 19. 19. Shit. They beat me. <laughs> I wasn't good. I was living on. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and he's made on autopilot. He works about one hour a week to keep his course updated and he makes about $250,000 a year. Okay. And we're going to talk about using affiliate marketing. So, and using social media to market your product. And I'm going to let this run in the background. Certainly, let's get started with chapter one of your piano course, focusing on the very basics to pave the way for your fast track to success. The keyboard consists of 88 keys, including 52 white keys and 36 black keys. From left to right, the white keys represent the notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. By this is writing, this is building you a high margin product, literally while we do this live call. People are still writing stuff. Let me look at Instagram and TikTok. I like to look where all the cynics are. <laughs> Dudes are hypnotized. They're German, so they're quieter. <laughs> Jack says, I grow plants and create beautiful landscapes. I have ADHD and I'm not good at finance. That's a great course. How to be productive while you have ADHD. You could build that in a course. You could build a mastermind. That's a six-figure business from scratch, by the way, from scratch. Let's see. Ty, the only thing you did right was building an email marketing list early on. No, not really. The best thing I did was build powerful YouTube ads. That's a powerful thing. I got about 1.5 billion views, but you're right. An email list is super important too. So let, I want to do a quick interview of you. What was the first product you did and that made a million dollars in revenue online? So the first one was actually I partnered with someone who already had a following, who already had a brand. Okay. And uh, I partnered with them, started doing the marketing for them, and we developed the product. Yes. Um, so I could do it without doing myself, without having my own product and everything. So it was faceless. You didn't put your face on the product. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I didn't have to build a following, I think. Um, yeah, that was the thing in 2019, German market, day trading space. Um, How much did that do that year? A million dollars in 45 days. And then that year, probably like 2.5. It was multiple products, but I got like front end one for like nine dollars. How about you? Wait, German, Austrian. What what worked for you? So we actually sold some of these products. So we helped them with our marketing. Okay. Like scale their coaching business. And we took them from like around like with a with G from zero to around one million per month in around 10 months. Did you grow their Instagram to do that? Yeah. Yeah. So. And how much did you do that year? That year? Mm-hmm. First year, what was it? Around like 221. Exactly. We started. Yeah. Um, my mic? The, yeah, the IG mic. Oh, well, yeah. We've got to pass this one. Let me, actually right pull up, let me actually pull up the numbers. Yep. I think that's better. Yeah. One second. Remember, Germans are very shy. <laughs> it's hard, hard for me to get them on here, but I'm glad. So, uh, October 2020, should I hold this? No, I'll hold this for you. Okay. So, October 2020, we made a client $4,600,000. Then, November 2020, we did 17000 collected. Mm -hmm. Then, December 2020, we did $43,000 collected. Mm -hmm. January 2021, we did 94000 collected. February, 200,000 cash collected. March, 2021, $330,000 cash collected. April, 2021, $466,000 cash collected. May, 2021, we did $640,000 cash collected. 600,000 cash June, collected. June, 2020, we had a little drop, but still $560,000 cash, cash, cash collected. So this was going on a pace of about $6 million. Then July 220, 766. And then August, we hit our first 1.8 million, 1.08 million in mm -hmm. August. So nine months. Nine months, then you went to a million a month. Yes. All from IG. All from Instagram. And from from a dead Instagram page with getting four likes a post when we went to So it was the Instagram you grew it into an Instagram theme page? Was we, that part of the quick product? It, it was a, a brand with a face. Mm -hmm. So the client had IG, but he bought followers, which you should never do. Yes, and my fake followers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we took the, with when we took the account over, he was getting a couple likes a post. 
and then we started uh, we started doing content with the right way, I think, which is by the way might be the best way to do consumer, the best way to do marketing. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit later on this webinar. By the way, those of you who are watching live, I'm doing a Zoom webinar, so I just turned this on. We're not so focused on Instagram, and, but you guys can watch in. But how about you? I was actually involved in like the, the project that you guys told about, mm -hmm. the day trading. and like huge website and this and that with a lot of like, technical stuff involved. Like if you're starting from scratch, um, I guess you want to do something simple. Yeah. Okay. What do you see people fail with the most? Kind of the same thing, actually. Like it's really like if you have needs to also not just money, also time. Like if you need a lot of time, like like three months or something to start something before you see any get any feedback. Mm -hmm. like an example is like a restaurant. So if you want to start a restaurant, it's going to take you, I don't know, months to like organize a place, hire staff, mm -hmm. and then you invest time and money into it. Yeah. So because you're a beginner, you'll probably fail. And it's also like a terrible business. Like margins are super low. So like unless you really know what you're doing, you're going to fail. So just like having, probably choosing the wrong business model, I think is the biggest thing. Yeah. yeah. Now I've got a little whiteboard, but I'm trying to think how I can do the whiteboard without covering some of you up. Maybe how about why don't we do this? So waiting over you. Can you on that couch real quick? Yeah. yeah. Come back. I want to draw. We were working on this. <laughs> but if I pull a whiteboard up. The shy Germans are very happy they can leave the couch. Yeah, the Germans are <laughs> the Germans are always happy. Okay. Let me show you something. There's a camera here. So watch this for a second. Okay. By the way. Who here is an introvert watching this and thinks that you have to have a business where you're 
encouraging a lot just for a second. So we were drawing this out before I came on this call. So I'm going to actually just show you straight from our notes, just diagramming it out. So if you want to make money online, you've got to have certain characteristics of something. Four things, things, okay? So number one, I'll pull up a couple notes here. Oops, do, 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 here we go. Number one, it needs to be easy. Number, because for your first business, you will get discouraged. I'm telling you, it's easy to get discouraged, even in big businesses. You know, I've made more than a hundred million dollars. Even then you can get discouraged. So your first business and making money online, or even if you're already doing money, uh, making money online, if you want to scale, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. That old school t name like is still very relevant. Number two, it can't be too competitive or saturated. If one million other people are doing it, well, a million people can be doing it, but if they suck at it, you're fine. But if a million other people are doing it well, it's tough to make money, okay? It's, it's hard. Number three, and this is a big one, you need high profit margins. Your first bitch, so for example, the average big business in America has approximately 10% profit margin. So for every million dollars they generate, they actually keep $100,000. If you're building an online business, you don't want to only have a 10% margin. Why? You're not going to be able to generate enough volume. You know, if you do $100,000 in revenue in a year and you only have 10% margins, that's not enough to live on. So you have to pick your business very well. High profit margin. The fourth thing you have to have is it needs to be a high price product. My mom's always trying to make online money. Always. And before the internet, as a little kid, I remember her always trying to, you know, she was a single mom. She tried everything, network marketing, this, that, the other thing. So my mom, if she launches a website, she's not going to get a million people to visit a year. So if she's selling a low price product and she gets 10 sales in a year of a $30 product where the margin that she gets paid out is 20%. She's making six bucks times 10. That's $60 a year. That's horrible. So you need something that's high. A good example is like Louis Vuitton. That purse they sell is $3,000. So it's a high price product. And their margins are 90%. Okay. The problem with Louis Vuitton is it's not an easy business to start because you have to open a store and sign a 10 year lease and manufacture the purses in Asia and then hire a, a shipping container uh, uh, on a freighter to bring it all the way into whatever country you live into. It, it's super hard. But Louis Vuitton is one of the most profitable businesses in the world. They sell a high price product. That purse costs them under 300 bucks that they charge two to three thousand dollars for. It's crazy. So I would say everybody here should just start a Louis Vuitton business, but it violates principle number one. It's definitely not easy. Luxury is one of the hardest businesses to get into. People will tell you it's easy to get into. Bullshit. Um, bullshit. And for sure. And it's somewhat sat saturated. You have a lot of good brands that have been there for a long time. Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Like you walk down Rodeo Drive or I'm in the south of France now. It's like highly, highly saturated. Um, by the way, I want to keep writing this book. At, but I'm going to give this to one of you that's watching this. You can take, if you know music or you don't know music, you can still do this business. I'm going to give somebody a business during this call that can make you your first million dollars online. It, it, my app actually says, let me know if you'd like me to continue with chapter three. 
Yes, I would. Please continue writing chapter three of my entire ebook so I can start selling this damn thing online or I can give it to somebody else and they can sell it online. Certainly, I understand the urgency and I'm here to help you. Here's chapter three, introduction to arpeggios. You know what arpeggio is on the piano? Okay, if you don't, the ebook teaches you. They are broken chords. The notes are played. There's a famous arpeggio that is lay. It's actually a test if you have piano skills, if you can play it. But let's not change subjects too much. So here's my question, and I'm going to ask the live call. Name a business that follows all four of these key principles. Name something. So people ask me about drop shipping. You know what's the problem with drop shipping? I see all over my TikTok just drop shipping stuff. And people are like, you see this pen? I sold this. I made a million bucks this year. I sold 10,000 of these. First off, uh, I call bullshit on a lot of those. I sell physical products. It's a very advanced, much more advanced business to do. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm saying don't start with that business because you don't have high margins. Last year, I sold hundreds of millions of dollars of physical products. So I'm qualified to tell you this. That shipped out of warehouses. We have a warehouse in Ohio and a warehouse in Nevada. So actually, last year, we had three warehouses. We consolidated two of them into one. But the point is, you need all four of these. And physical product drop shipping is not good to start. Even if it's keep it simple, people say, oh, drop shipping. Well, maybe. Anytime you have a physical product, you have it breaks when you FedEx it somebody. If you a customer buys from another country, like I, I own bodybuilding, we have to ship stuff. Somebody orders in India, comes out of our to ship from our office in Ohio is cost prohibitive. Plus, you have customs in Europe. You have that. It's crazy complicated. So a lot of you are watching and learning stuff that I think is not realistic for the average person to do. What I'm talking about today is realistic. For somebody, in fact, somebody could do this today. And that's why I'm I'm building a product that I think is realistic. So the one type business that matches all four of these, in fact, the only type business that I know that matches all four of these. Oh, I only have one piece, piece, piece of paper left. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna have to write it real small. Is digital products. So what's an example of digital products? Video games. Some of the wealthiest people in the world, they got rich by selling damn video games because they're a digital product. Even better is digital apps where people like they don't even need a console. They just download them on their phone. Now, the problem with did making video games is it's not easy. Now, there are some video games you can make that are easy, but in general, if you want to make something like GTA, and it's also somewhat saturated, although I would say the main thing is it violates this. It's also not high price points, so you need a crazy amount of customers to make any money, okay? But a video game is a digital product, so I, it's somewhat okay. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. What's an 8 out of 10? That ebook that I have ChatGPT building while we do this call. I give that an eight out of 10 because it's easier because AI will do it for you. Um, Ebooks are a little bit saturated, I would say. It is high profit margins, crazy, like 95% profit margins, but it's not high price point. So that ebooks are great, but not perfect. Who knows what a nine or a 10 is? I'll, I'll give you an example. I know a guy, he's a dentist. And he makes $300,000 a year. And I told him, hey, man, why don't you? And he, But he has multiple dental offices, which most dentists don't know how to do. I said, why don't you make an educational coaching program where you charge dentists $25,000 to train them what you do? And he did it, and he got 50 of them in the first month. How? He just knows a lot of dentists. So look, do the math. 50 times 25,000, he made 
$1.2 million in one month. Now you might say, but wait a sec, Ty, I'm not a dentist. I don't have that high value skill. Okay, fine. But I just wanted to tell you that's not saturated at all. For him, it was easy. It was crazy high profit margins and it was a high price product, but that's somebody I just helped last year. He made more money doing that than he's made in three years as a dentist actually fixing people's teeth. And he provided, he kept being a dentist and he did it part time, by the way. He did four coaching meetups per year for $25,000. Now, let's say if you're watching and you're intimidated, because you, that is a 10. That's a fucking 10. That is a 10 out of 10 to make a million dollars in a month. And you know what his profit margins are? He has to rent a hotel four times a year. And he has to have a Zoom account to do the coaching. He does a coaching call a month and he has four hotel uh, he has to book. So let's say his total cost is $10,000 a year. Let's say 30. And he brings in 1.2 million. That's like 99% profit margins. Now his time he has to put in, but most people have more time than they got money. Most people have more time than money. Somebody said, that's crazy. Somebody said, oh my God. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. He was blown away. Now, I'm assuming most people here. Why does it say my live ended on TikTok? Is it ended? Okay. So let's pretend for those of you who are an expert, like a dentist or a business person, or you have some specialized skill, make sure you watch to the end. Um, I'm launching this early bird kind of consulting where I'm going to help you build this all out. But let's say you're watching this and you think you have no crazy high value skill. You're not a dentist. You don't have that. Here's what you do. Okay. You sell that guy's product to other dentists and you get him to give you 50% of the money. So that's called a reseller. So the 10 business, 10 out of 10 is if you're the dentist, you're an expert watching this and you build your own product and you make an extra, you know, million bucks a year. That would be a 10 out of 10 like this dentist. By the way, disclaimer, I'm not saying everybody's gonna make a million bucks a year. This is America. So you gotta say all these bullshit disclaimers. Hey, yeah, I'm not a dentist either. That's not how I got them. I actually built businesses to start. I built three businesses when I was a teenager. So I built a grass fed beef business with Joel Salatin. Um, I built a financial services company called it still exists. I sold it my half to my business partner about 10 years ago called LLG financial in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I built a third business, which was a nightclub business. I ran the nightlife for like seven of the biggest places in the Raleigh Durham triangle, George's garage. Red Room, Parazod, Spice Street, all these big places for a guy who owned a ton of restaurants. I partnered with him. By the way, I was basically a reseller. So if you're not a crazy expert, give yourself a little Instagram following. Other high priced products for other people and get them to give you half the money. And a guy like that dentist would grab. Now, dentist is a hard one, but I can give you a list. In fact, I have a template of a ton of simple high price products that are digital where the owner of that business, if you send them anybody who buys from your Instagram, they'll split the money with you. Sometimes they'll give you 30%. Sometimes they'll give you 50. I know one guy will give you 80% of the money because then he has no marketing costs. I know a guy will give you 80%. More normal is like 40 to 60. Okay. Sometimes on the low end, it's 20 to 30. But just think about this. If you're watching this, that's not a realistic build. I got it in early, it was easier to do. It is realistic to build a 50,000 person following that's very engaged with you. A $50,000, uh, 50,000 follower account that's super engaged is going to make more money than a, the average million account where the person doesn't know how to make money off it. Most social media people don't know how to make money off it. Maybe only fans, shit like that. 
So, and that's a nine. And just like product. She, she makes some TikTok reels. She does some on YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, on Facebook reels, on Snapchat Spotlight, on Twitter now. X is supporting long form videos or she makes a short video. One person buys per month. And let's say that product that the, she's reselling for somebody else, let's say it's an eight grand product and she gets paid 50%, that's $4,000. And she's working one hour a month, two hours a month. Let's say one hour a week. Full time, but I'm not gonna retire. Month, but that's the beginning. Creational products, you know. So, um, this for those of you who have been watching everybody else make money. You can take this if you want. I, I highly recommend you get in this business. I've been in this business. I've generated more than a hundred million dollars, and I've generated money from through my own products, but also as a reseller too. So I'm like doing what I'm, I, I'm practicing what I preach. I've made, you know, a million bucks in a year more being a reseller for other people. Somebody said, Ty, your Wi-Fi isn't good. <laughs> I think we have some Wi-Fi issues. I'm gonna put a replay up, maybe. I mainly want to record it with them. We're gonna record some when I hang up. I want to record. We're going to put a little bit off. Okay. Ty, what color is your Bugatti? <laughs> you know what? I, I'm not such a Bugatti fan. If you go back on my Instagram, the CEO Bugatti came to the U.S. And I got to test drive one of their 1,600 horsepower or 1,400 horsepower Bugattis. Dude, that car is too valuable. It's too, it's too much. I had an Aventador. That's a $400,000 car, a ghost, a $400,000 uh, ghost. I just... <laughs> doesn't know how to do it. If you've ever driven a Bugatti, you, if you go on my Instagram, you can see back when I drove this Bugatti, I was like, I don't want this car. It's so powerful that it's an, and if somebody scratches it, when you take it somewhere, you know how much money it is? Fucking <laughs> fix a Bugatti, <laughs> drop 200 grand to try to get a dent out of that thing. Okay. Oh, you got live. These little, these are, that's cool. On TikTok allows that. All right, so other things I wanted to talk about in this little outline. By the way, let me ask you all, what should I add that I haven't added? I think one thing, one important thing to talk about is like part of attention, you know? But yes, okay. Like attention, like many people say attention is kind of a new currency. And yes. It's true. In the past, like attention was like in TV, newspapers. Yep. So people pay money to promote their Yes. And what's happening today, like social media, Instagram, TikTok. Yes. Like anybody can get attention. And if you have attention of people, Yes. You have money. I'm going to repeat it. That's like, if people are looking at you and listening to you. Yes. And you can sell something. And yes. Selling is the basic thing to make money. So, attend, let's talk about this. So, once you have an actual idea, the way you actually make money, and you have to do this to make money, you have to be able to generate some attention from your social media. Attention is the new money in the modern world. Attention is the new money. So what they teach people and what I teach people and what I did myself, it's a relatively simple formula. So step number one, you use those four rules to find the right product. Got to be, like I said, simple to understand, high priced, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're already talking about that. Next, you make some social media accounts. Did you know you don't even have to be the face of them if you're shy? Not all social media accounts. There's big accounts like at wealth. That guy never shows his face. He just posts other stuff. 
he creates he creates content but never his face so if you're shy so right here you use i think the best three to be using now if you ask me is ig TikTok, and youtube now since elon musk bought you know x or twitter maybe you can throw that one if your audience is older facebook is super important if your audience is mid to young but that's why i like ig instagram is good because younger and older still are you know somebody said what's older i mean my mom's on instagram and but she's not on tiktok and my mom's in her 60s or whatever so okay so you now the next thing is there's a viral formula that we can teach you so for example how often should you post we have a template for that so in general some people there's a lot of arguments on this what time should you post a big thing should you post reels should you post carousels should you post 15 times a day should you post once a day really high quality there's a guy teaching that you should only post once a week but insanely good quality okay so you got to understand the viral formula because the truth is it's changing all the time it, it what worked a year ago for example now carousels are really picking up especially the two slide carousel where you have an opening image followed by an opening followed by a video that's new two years ago that wasn't done that much even a year ago okay TikTok's changed a lot it used to be easier to go viral on TikTok two three years ago now people are having a harder time now x is starting to introduce long form video so I don't want to complicate it because we've created like a simple formula for it but I just wanted to kind of it would take me eight hours to go through this okay but I'm happy to explain like I'll give you an example my opinion in order I, I would actually invert these for me ig first youtube second TikTok third facebook fourth you know if i had an older audience i'd probably do ig youtube facebook and i put TikTok much lower if i had a super young audience i would push snapchat up on this if i'm selling a product but when you're selling higher priced products in general, it's better to sell them to older people. Older people have more money. So that's why I say this is a good form. In terms of how often you should post per day, I think on YouTube, on Instagram, you know, anywhere from one to six times a day. But you can also do like, you know, once every other day if the quality is better. I actually like to use TikTok to test. So you post more on TikTok and then whatever wins on TikTok, you can post that to your IG. But that's more advanced stuff. In terms of what time, I've watched that change, you know? I mean, I've had, I've been, when Snapchat was one or two years old, I used to get 18 million views on my Snap story. So I, I never found that the exact time mattered. <clears throat> now, like I said, this is things people argue about. I'll tell you what actually does matter, okay? Yeah, these monster influencers are on Snapchat are posting 100 videos per day, more than 100, 200. I know one of them. She, I just did a podcast with her. But I'm trying to keep this easy because she's making, you know, millions. And what I'm teaching right now is for those of you who, who like my mom. My mom's happy if she could make two to $5,000 a month. I mean, my mom doesn't need to work. I take care of my mom. But my mom gets bored and she wants to do her own thing. So my mom would be very excited if she could make two to $10,000 a month. So don't, I don't want to go too advanced now. For those of you who already are more advanced, you have more than a couple hundred thousand, you know, followers, I can give you what I, I can give you a more advanced formula, but you understand the four rules. You pick the right product. You learn to get attention right here on IG. You can just start with Instagram. You use a viral formula and then you just put a link in this is called a tracking link okay i remember using my first tracking link in 2001 google adwords had just started okay so i've, I've been using these for more than two decades good and the tracking links are much more sophisticated now okay they used to be tougher um, to use but 
you use a tracking link and then you have a little place you can log in. It's called a portal, an affiliate portal. Can you see that? And if anybody buys from something you post here, you get usually 30 to 80%. Then you connect your bank account here, you know, Bank of America, Chase, blah, blah, blah. Or if you're outside the US or Revolut or whatever you're using, okay? And you attach your bank account. By the way, I highly recommend the account that you get the money in, transfer it to another damn bank account. Because sometimes if there's a refund, they suck it back out of this bank account. So just depends if you get more bands. So I have a secondary bank account. You could be at the same bank though. So just keep it simple. You could take it from your checking account in your savings account. It all builds off. How do you know how to pick products using the formula we showed on the previous page? And how do you, do you know how to basically use Instagram? and some other platforms. And if you can do that, I'm telling you, I have seen people, I was here, how many people were at this mastermind today? They flew me in to speak at this mastermind. When you started following me, Nicholas, how old were you? Oh man, I was like 16 or something. 16. Yeah. He's been following me. I, I, he met me when I was speaking in Dubai. Yeah, here, come sit here for one second. Sure. I think this will be a good thing for people to hear. Somebody says, is this for theme pages for Instagram? For sure, you should use yeah. theme pages. In fact, that's he's this these guys are masters of theme pages. Okay, so you started with me when you I want to put this on my IP story. Sure. So hold it. I got double mic'd up here. <laughs> I got one love, one Instagram live fucking thing. Okay. So let me put this on. So <sighs> this one? Yeah, talking. Hold it. Okay. So, Nicholas, how old were you when you started following me? 15 or 16. Not 15 or 16. Exactly. We're going live here. We got a whole setup. And um, I'm assuming you weren't making much money then. No. Were your zero. parents rich? No. I grew up in a normal, average German family. He's yeah. German. Okay. In what city? Uh, the city is called Rhein. Close to Düsseldorf. Close to Düsseldorf. Okay. <laughs> Now, what's a normal? So back then, you were making basically nothing because you were in school. Nothing. What's a normal money. month for you to make now? How much money? What would in, in be profit, normal? In profit, gross yeah. and profit, either one. So gross, like this month, we're on track to collect the business yeah. about half a million dollars. Okay, a little bit less, like four seventy or something. Yeah, and it's a good month. Four hundred seventy thousand euros or dollars? That's US dollars. Yeah. And what's profit? Profit out of that is about sixty percent. Yeah. So over 200,000 a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're how old? I'm 23. Just turned 23. My man. <laughs> it's a good testimonial. Yes. And that's that's one of the businesses, right? Yeah, he has more than one business. Yes. More than one business. By the way, that's... do you agree with this formula here? Yes, 100%. Yes. Yeah. So to talk yeah. about your insight onto this. Yeah. Let me hand you the, the mic a little bit. Sure. So you can apply this formula with like especially virality and Instagram and YouTube and everything. Mm -hmm. to, should I hold both? Yeah, hold both. Yeah. To, to different things. Like you can do it on a personal brand if you want to show yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, you can do this virality thing and everything uh, on the personal brand. That's not how I got started. I got started back in the days with theme pages. You know, I was, uh, I was shy. I uh, didn't want to show myself online. Right. I wanted to start a business where I can kind of like make money without showing myself and without having my own product. So um, I got started with simple Instagram theme pages, right? An Instagram page where you talk about a specific topic can be, I don't know, business, travel, luxury, uh, even cooking, eating or whatever. And that's how I back in the days got started, right? I started my first page at the beginning, struggled for like eight months to get the first 10,000 followers. But then, you know, I got mentors who learned from smarter people and suddenly my Instagram you know, blew up without uh, showing myself and I started making money by selling other people's products right and um, yeah like that's that's how I back in the days you know made my first money um, also like by selling services so it wasn't just like other people's products but you know I started with theme pages and then um, you know I learned how to create content like posts on Instagram 
and videos on Instagram and stories and stuff like that. And other people saw it, like other theme page owners, Instagram page owners saw it. And they were like, hey, this is cool, right? I, I, can you help me with it? And I started doing that. So, you know, I, I for other people created content, uh, ran their Instagram accounts. And then, you know, like later on, like after one or two years of running my theme page, making money with it, I got into like personal branding. Um, yeah. I'm going to come back here. Yes, Ty is coming back. <laughs> Some people are asking for energy. Huh? I, I just posted if you want to follow him, you can follow him on my uh, on my Instagram story. By the way, I realized I should be in the video. <laughs> yes. So, What's Nicholas, up? how did it feel to make your first, I don't know, 50,000 net in a month? Oh, first 50K, that was crazy. I was traveling through Australia. How old were you? 18. 18? Oh, was I 19 already? I was 19 already. 19. Yeah. yeah. And how did, what did you do? So I was running theme pages and okay. personal brand, right? But no, I'm saying, what did you do? Go to a club? No. Did you buy class. a cool car? Did you buy a watch? Did no. you send your mom money? I was, I was staying in nice places in Australia. Like so nice travel yes, was your travel. freedom. Yes. Yeah. Who's a freedom person over there? <laughs> I've been telling people this since 2013. It's crazy how skeptical people are, you know? I remember when 2013, I started doing a lot of business coaching and people were like, oh, this is a scam. And it's interesting, it's like, he's 15, so he's more, he's less skeptical. And I always tell people, so you know what happens when you're a skeptic? You catch trends too late because your skepticism keeps you from catching it in the first few years. You know what I'm saying? And you catch it like five years too late. So let's talk on the next thing. So you know how to take attention, turn it into like I have a whole bunch of other people who flew and I pulled them away from that. So I don't want to take them away from this too much. But what I'm working on with them, myself, my team, and, and collaboration with them is creating a simple 90-day challenge. Okay. So a 90-day challenge. Now, I would like you to make your first revenue in less than 90 days. But this is a 90 day system. Okay. So does everybody remember what we talked about? Or would you write me? What is that? Sorry, my, my team just. So I just call this HMR system. Okay. And I want to answer questions. I'm going to let them go because they got to be out with their friends too, which is high margin reseller system. And what I want to, I want to take questions and I also want to have some of you, this launches next week in seven days. So this is kind of like an early bird call. Okay. Early bird call for, and we're going to do it at a reduced price because we're going to actually coach you through this H M R system, high margin reseller system. So here's the goal in less than 90 days. You've identified, so there's two types of people. You can use this if you're more advanced and you already are an expert and you already have an easy path for a digital product. If you're not an expert, a beginner, we'll show you how to just resell somebody else's product. If you're more advanced, you should still go into the system because you still need other people reselling your product for you. You know how many people I've had? I mean, I've been millions of dollars as an expert saying, 
saying, Hey, who wants to resell my product? I'll give you 30 to 60% of all the money I make. If you send people from your Instagram to me, this is a super simple in case you're a little bit lost. This is super simple. You find a product, you learn how to post on your Instagram. You use a tracking link and they send you money back into your bank account. And by the way, if you don't get into our HMR system, that's fine. You can do this on your own. You can learn how to do it on your own. Some people say, Ty, I don't need any of this. I'm going to go learn it, piece it together on YouTube. I'm going to buy books off Amazon. Go for it. Knock yourself out. What I will tell you is um, it takes a hell of a lot longer. So for those of you who want to cut the learning curve, like I said, nowadays you got people, you got four people here that are under 25 years old. You know, did you know now if you make more than 400 grand, you're in the top 1%. of 1% of the world right now. So this is a more advanced program, by the way, on my website, I have lots of programs. Some of them I do for like a $1 three day challenge. I've got those, I've got one on e -com. I've got one on learning be sales and closing and persuasion, all that kind of stuff. This is a I wanted to specifically make a program that where it's we kind of hand you a business on a silver platter we do it with you so this hmri hmr system the way it works i need somebody to write for me one day ai can i need like an ai arm can you have an ai arm i just say stuff that'd be badass surprised they don't already have that so We're going to show you how to get attention, identify products that match you. You might create a issue, you might on cooking, you might create your social media, it might be about sports, it might be about gambling, it might be about fitness, it might be about raising kids, it might be about religion, spirituality, life coaching, all that stuff. Then we'll show you how to use viral loops or create viral loops, how often to post. We'll show you how to build the following and then sell to it. A lot of people build a following and forget to sell to it. We're going to give you an exact blueprint. So if you know how architecture works, we've got an exact blueprint. Um, we're going to give you all the templates that you need. For example, even video templates. That's helpful. A lot of people feel lost when they try to do their Instagram. So you can just cut and paste stuff that we're going to give you. Cut and paste. We'll have a virality checklist, by the way. Every time before you post, use this, our systems checklist. So you, we're going to give you a Facebook group where you can ask questions, a WhatsApp group, and I'm going to sign You'll have your own customer uh, success manager assigned to you that you can mess it. You can text them at any time. Okay. You'll have um, the video course, which is 90 days. And then there's something I want to throw in as a bonus, by the way, but I'll talk about that in a second. By the way, I haven't even looked at all the social media questions. Um, Any questions? I haven't even looked, sorry, at the comments. Okay. Get a smart board. The problem with a smart board is I'm traveling right now and it's not the most fun thing to bring. <laughs> it's like, yo, let me bring my fucking, I already bring a travel suitcase with all this whole setup that I have. All right, I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. Now, somebody asked on price. So here's the thing. We're going to raise the price once it launches next Friday. So right now we have the early bird price. You know, it's very funny people ask about price a lot, which is understandable. I mean, when I was broke, I bought my first course in 2001, Corey Rudolph's course. It was all the money I had in my bank account. So I understand what it's like. 
but we were looking at an interesting statistic. How much money, Frank, do you think the average American spends on coffee every year? What's your guess? 30,000. 30,000? That's a little odd. Just, just give me a number. What does anybody think? There's probably somebody doing 30,000, by the way. This is now, this is a little bit, this is from like two years ago. So maybe it's higher after COVID. Everybody freaked out. $2,327. That is an insane number. I'm not saying you shouldn't drink coffee, but like, what? That, I, when I launched my SMMA course, we had a 1,000 version, 5,000 version, and a 10,000 version. And people were like, oh, that's expensive. And then I find out the average American spending 2,000 on coffee, that will never help you. <laughs> it doesn't help you. Most people have burned out their adrenal glands and they cover it up with stimulants. So if maybe coffee's neutral and maybe it helps some people. It ain't health. Don't ever believe that bullshit. Ain't no fucking pro athlete who's like, you know the secret to my ripped body? I spend $2,327 on Starbucks. No. No. So when people ask me about the price, I always want to ask people back. Okay. You wish you had stayed in for four years? No. <laughs> I mean, it's just insane. Everybody complains, and then I ask people, what if you took $2,327 and went to a conference? I flew all the way here. I was listening in on the conference, getting good ideas. There was a dude here. Where does that guy live? Is he Dubai? The guy that was teaching that does all the IG stuff that wiped wiped his butt and posts on his IG story with a five hundred dollar bill, five hundred pound. Uh, he lives in Berlin. So, like, people don't invest in traveling, going to find smart people. And I know when you're broke, that's hard to do. But I don't know. One of my mentors told me. He said, "Ty." Whenever but somebody tells you they don't have time or money for something, just add two words for that. Like people find money. That's why when you live, like I grew up kind of like Long Beach, Compton. It's kind of like the ghetto, you know, of LA. It's like people got rims, iPhones. People find money for the things that they value. People find money. So, this course, I was like, we'll do an early bird for under a thousand bucks, but I didn't want to do it super cheap because I'd rather have one person from this live stream go through because I'm putting my mom in here, like I told you. And we'll just pay attention to the one or two people who come through. If we get a hundred people in, we'll pay attention. I've got a big enough company we can scale up and pay attention to people. So, you know, we're going to raise the price up to about $6,000, 5,800. But I wanted to do an early bird live. You can tell this live is, uh, is, you know, when I'm traveling, it's not all set up. I got this weird mic on that I don't normally use. My laptop <laughs> is traveling with the wrong laptop that doesn't have enough power. So we're not going to charge the 5,800. We're just going to, I told my team, just put it under a thousand bucks. We got, we got a loud voice up there. We got somebody up there making 3 million a month. How are you? You got a deep voice, man. That shit projects. You, you know what? You should do audio books. Sure. Yeah. That would be awesome. Do audio books. He scaled up doing $3 million a month. So I got to go in a second. They're out smoking cigars. Um, so look, and then I want to take some q and I'll talk about the refund policy if it doesn't work for you. I'll take the risk out. So... Just go to tylopez.com. We'll pin this. And we'll just put, yeah, H M R Live. Now, what's interesting, this very thing I'm doing now, 
and then COVID thing happened. So this is five years later that I'm reopening this. And by the way, one super important bonus, I'm gonna give you one ticket to, I'm doing a live event about every month, either in Las Vegas or in London. I have one in two in about, and then I have one next month in Vegas, then back to London. So this ticket right here is anywhere from $500 thousand dollars depending if you buy it early bird or not i'm going to give you a ticket so you can if you want to you can come to vegas or you can come to london and i will also train you on this whole in two days i do a two-day training on this so i wanted to throw that in um so for those of you so yeah tylopez.com slash h m r live now what's some q a and what's some things that I should add that I did not mention? Yes. So there's a weekly Q&A. Um, I know all the credit card processing. I know all the email marketing. I know the best software to plug into. I'll give you different software to run a website for you. Um, there, I've done nine figures in this business. We'll get A lot of people couldn't work and all of a sudden people realize that if you rely on the government or a nine to five job um you are at the mercy of people who do not care about you and i've noticed every single day since then more and more people in my line it's just like every single day and so if you wait a long time um it's remember i said the four rules is an important rule it cannot be overly saturated oh that was on the other piece of paper sorry we we changed boards so you you have to be insanely careful that you don't procrastinate now because however skeptical you are watching this whenever i look at TikTok, TikTok is funny TikTok and twitter i think is the land of skeptics you know what happens with skeptics? They make the owner of the skeptical platform wealthy. That's the funny thing. It's like the most skeptical is like TikTok. The Chinese made so much money off TikTok that they spent 18 billion in one year just on marketing. Just on marketing, 18 billion. You know how much money you're making if you spend and expect to make? And TikTok's full of a lot of skeptical people. Then you go over to Twitter, and it's like billionaires are getting rich. It's not just Elon Musk that has an interest in TikTok. There's other very wealthy billionaires that gave Elon Musk. He didn't put all 44 billion in. It was a 44 billion, I think, transaction. I think he put five. So it's time for you to stop being a pawn of TikTok, Mark Zuckerberg and Instagram, X, and start taking some of that money for yourself. By the way, ad revenue, some people are like, yo, I'm gonna be a YouTube. Somebody said, give me the damn link to buy. I already did. Can we pin that on Instagram? Mm -hmm. And does Zoom have it? Sorry, let me make sure we post this link. Somebody reminded me. By the way, I'll read off the names of people who get in, but let me do Q and A. My team, you guys need to go. Are people out there smoking? Oh, you guys all sat. <laughs> got a whole, <laughs> I got a whole group watching me here. <laughs> By the way, Kareem from Erie, Pennsylvania. Welcome to the group. Let me, let me, I like this. 
Like, I'll be I dead soon. What's up, everybody? What's up? Doesn't get more live than that. This is a real live. <laughs> By the way, I, one thing I'll tell all of you, Mr. B, this. in general, you can like lives that much. When you're So, but I was on an early bird program, and I know, I think we've had slow Wi-Fi, every single person on YouTube and Facebook. Something for YouTube, by the way. Four pillars. There was popular, but I just forgot to keep selling them. I'm gonna bring that back because everybody in the world's part of some stupid that vegans and fucking carnivore and CrossFit and all that. Oh, that's okay. You know, I know. Playing the game. so yes, I don't have a cult, but I'm going to bring back a cult of living the good life. What else? You know, religion really messed a lot of people up. I'm not saying spirituality. I'm saying man-made religion. You can believe in God. That's fine. There's obviously something more powerful than all of us. I'm not an expert on that, but religion structures it so people will live, be satisfied with living a shitty life. And they used to let slaves do is go to church. Why? As Trump, the opiate of the Now the opiate of the masses is music. Okay. I And by the way, I play music, so don't think I'm against music. But they use music to keep people away all day. Some people listen to music eight hours a day to keep their anxiety down. People use weed. I'm not really against weed. I saw a video about a dude who had Parkinson's disease and was shaking. And the second they gave him a joint, it all went away. Like he could, you know, not shake. But I'm saying that's for intelligent They're in their cult. Oh, life sucks. I'm a nihilist. People think they're smart. You ain't fucking smart. You ain't never read Nietzsche. You can't bullshit. Me. People say they're a nihilist. I'm like, bro, <laughs> have you ever read Nietzsche? Have you ever read these people? So most people are just in a pretend world. And you can call it the matrix, whatever you want to call it. But it starts with freedom from with income. Freedom from income is the beginning. And then you get health and then you build love and then you build happiness. But when you are broke, you basically it's it's uh, <laughs> nothing works when you're broke. Unless you're not. Okay. Passport bros, we up. <laughs> okay. Ty, I appreciate your DM via feedback. Yeah, I've got an automated AI that, that answers my Instagram sometimes. It's pretty badass what you can do with Instagram. Ty, are you an introvert or extrovert? How do you get out from the Cartesian matrix system? <laughs> uh, Die, no money, no freedom. You said that on Twitter. Where would you invest 5K right now? Ah, so exactly. I I go to like three conferences. I go to one conference a quarter. So that'll cost you, let's say, each K 
counting travel, hotel, and the ticket, each of those cost a thousand. So that's three or four grand. And then I'll buy a whole bunch of books. I buy some courses. I'm not just saying that because I sell courses. You know how many courses I buy every month? I'd say, what am I going to go? I buy a month. And I don't even have time to go through all the courses. So I have interns that I'm like, yo, go through this course, summarize it for me and give it. I'm still buying courses. Courses is the modern day university. Courses is literally the modern day university. I promise you, your grandkids are going to think you're weird for having got, especially Americans for have got, uh, I think, Azusa Pacific private school in LA, which nobody's ever heard of, really is 44,000 a year, four years for an undergrad degree. That's 170 plus of debt. Then the US government or the college charges you debt, you end up dropping two, three hundred thousand dollars to learn what shit you could have learned in a course that you could have spent a thousand or two thousand all the while implementing it and making some money back. All that science and 23 people tried to refute me and say, oh, well, look at the statistic. People who go to college have higher incomes lifetime. You fucking non-college educated person doesn't understand causation versus correlation. That's how what I wanted to say to them. I thought you're the smart college kids. Do you know what causation versus correlation? Of course, richer families that can afford to send their kids to college are going to have a higher income, but it's not from the fact that they went to college. In fact, who's the wealthiest people who ever went to Harvard? The ones who dropped out. Bill Gates is richer than Ballmer. Steve Ballmer told me, oh, I was scared to drop out. And so he's about 100 billion less wealthy. He's wealthy though, he's 90 plus billion. Zuckerberg dropped out. Peter Thiel, Elon Musk business partner in PayPal, he's paying people. In fact, the founder of Ethereum, Vitalik, was paid by Elon Musk business partner, Peter Thiel, to not go to college. Just Smarter college. Yeah, in 1983. You need a time warp, buddy. It's 2023. You are incorrect. You do not understand how saturation works. Top three marketing books and courses of all time. There, I mean, <laughs> there's this copywriting book. What is the name of it? It's a red book. Which one? Breakthrough yeah, breakthrough advertising. That's one of them. Breakthrough advertising is a good one. There's an old marketing guy I've been following for years named Perry uh, Marshall. That dude has been teaching marketing since like 1999 or something. He's got good stuff. Um, I think um, the persuasion type books, like there's a book called uh, Influence by C. Aldini. That's an insanely good book for marketing. In fact, I'll put that as a bonus in the course. Now, one thing I forgot to say, I'll tell you something I forgot to say. I've got a network of people. If you have a product, I can get other people to post your product all over Instagram and resell for you. Since 2018, I probably have, how many people are in cash flow? 4,000, 5,000? I got like four or 5,000 resellers. So if you are more advanced, get in here at put the link up again, because I will also give you access to those four or 5,000 people, HMR Live. I'll also tell you how to get up on the right networks. There's like 10 good networks I would get up on to be more advanced. Every month in affiliates drive traffic from my businesses, not just stylopus.com, but other businesses, I don't know. Seven figures a month I get, I make by just affiliates driving, share a sale, all these different ones. Those are all referral partners. So, okay. I think that was, what are other things we should cover? Anything. I'm going to reshoot this whole thing now that I kind of did it.
stuff. Oh yeah, AI, thank you. I told everybody, I'm gonna give one person a free business. Who here knows how to play the piano? I've got three chapters of this ebook. The way you use ebooks is you tell people if you follow you. So that's how you perfect transformation. Who who has one? Okay, what's your name? Your Zoom name is perfect transformation. I'm assuming that's not your real name. That'd be a pretty cool. I know a crypto guy named Virtual. What was his name? Virtual, he had a crypto dude changed his name to virtual reality or something. He was a crazy guy. Okay, here we go. Mexico adventurer on YouTube. You play piano for 56 years? How old are you? You got somebody been playing piano here. So I'm going to give you this book idea. Can you put your email in here? Put your name an adventure not holden vargas i'm gonna give you this we call it some people call these lead magnets trip wires there's different names um i call them mind maps or infographics so this is a great thing if you go on my instagram right now every day i get insane amount of people i put a little link in my bio that just says if you want my top uh list of books top 100 list follow me and dm me the word books and then i have an automated response that sends them to tylopez.com slash books, but it gets me followers and engagement. So I'll give you, if you send me your email, can you grab his email when he puts it in? Oh, here, there's another guy, Sam Van de Crumpert. Yeah, you can use this. I'll put, we'll put it, let's put an AI module in here. I'm going to do a bonus for those who get in. I'm going to do an AI module on making these eBooks. Don't ever think that books don't sell. Not only did Jeff Bezos, who's been the richest man in the world for the last 10 years, okay? Not only does he like books, but he built his first business around books, Amazon. And then when he could, he bought Audible for billions of dollars to own, he owns audio books now and physical books. And by the way, you can get a robot when you get your ebook, you can turn it into an audio book with a damn robot voice. Now you can pick and choose. I have a friend who built a course and has Arnold Schwarzenegger doing the whole voice of the book. He's worried Arnold might sue him, but <laughs> I told him that. He's, he went to lawyers to find out if Arnold, you're Austrian, can legally sue him. And one lawyer is like, I don't think he can sue you. It's gonna be a crazy world with AI, by the way. People are gonna impersonate you. What other last things? So we can go smoke, what? 30, do I want to throw that in? A lot of these people already, some of these are already in 39 triggers. What else? What's a common objection you find that people freak out about in getting in a course? They want to be communities. Oh, yes. So we have an app that's coming out and you can be in the app asking all your questions. Some of you are going to have the simplest questions ever. You're going to be like, hey, I, uh, you know, Make an Instagram real. I don't understand how to do. We're going to keep it so simple to just get your first sale. Like my mom, I'm like, mom, I want to give you a reseller link for a product. I'll give her three products to choose. I'm like, my mom's a big conspiracy theorist. She loves conspiracy theories. So I'm going to get her to, I'm going to find a conspiracy theory product. I'm going to get my mom to blow this bitch up. Okay, I'm going to get her to post on her story. My mom has 30 or 40 friends in Facebook groups that I'm going to find a conspiracy theory product and get my mom to sell it. It's going to be and get, I mean, hopefully she makes one to five thousand dollars, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Now we're bringing out all the conspiracy theorists on here. Okay, good. I think we can go. We want an hour and a half instead of one hour. So tylopez.com slash HMR live early bird. We're going to release this on Friday. This is the version of my cash flow program that I built in 2018. This is the new updated version that includes things like AI. There was no chat GPT in 2018. There was nothing. There was no TikTok. There was no YouTube shorts. There was no Facebook reels. There was no Instagram reels. There was no automated DMs. 
it was a lot harder to land pages. There was less. So, if I have Facebook YouTube channels using AI, if you have a faceless YouTube channel, here's the thing. Some of you are doing Amazon automation. Be careful with Amazon. Jeff Bezos can shut off your entire life if he wants to, and he does. Be careful if you have a single strategy like YouTube channel automation. Google can shut you off. I will show you how to go across multiple platforms so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Some of you have, have you're too, you're not diversified, you know? Good. We're out. Let's go. I saw pizza. So that mean, that is my cue to stop streaming. Let's stop streaming. Tylopas.com slash HMR live. I'm going to eat pizza. And uh, yeah, Lexi, get in there and we'll help you diversify from just having your automated YouTube channels. Good. All right. Let's go. Yeah, there's something with the... Oh, can you shut this off? There is definitely a stream.